Hey, Rebel Rouser. I'm Alan Voivod, and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1,738 today, and thank you so much for joining me for it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for ratings, reviews, and especially thank you to the fine folks who are supporting me every day at patreon.com slash SW7x7. If you're not one of those folks, hey, why not check out what's going on over there? and see if there are any awesome things in the reward tiers that might interest you. Again, as I mentioned yesterday, they've been changed up a little bit in the past few months. So check them out and see what you think. So today, as promised yesterday, is going to be part two of my interview with Frank Rich from Star Wars Autograph News. And if you haven't heard that episode yet and you've just come into this one, I'll remind you that Frank is the owner and founder of Star Wars Autograph News, which is a podcast. It is a website. It is a whole community of folks who support each other with their Star Wars autograph collecting. And so on today's episode, we're going to dig into the business of autographs and photo ops at Celebration Chicago, how that whole business all works. And we're also going to talk about some secret signing opportunities that don't get so heavily advertised. Frank is going to share that information as well. And I hope you'll stay tuned after the break too, because I will talk about Monday's show or at the very least where it's going to be coming from. So stay tuned for that. But for now, here is the second half of my interview with Frank Rich from Star Wars Autograph News. Let's talk about Star Wars Celebration. So this is obviously, you know, the comparative Super Bowl of Star Wars photo opportunities and autograph situations. And, you know, as you talked about already, you know, there's a, you know, a large business around this. So this is, you know, it's kind of one big machine. Can you explain like how this works? I mean, how, you know, they're going to have, I think you said somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 people who are autographing at this thing. Like, how does this get put together? So, yeah, the, yeah, six. So an autograph hall, which is the actors and the behind the scenes people. There's 60 guests. There were 61. Tomorrow Morrison just canceled yesterday. Mm -hmm. So with 60, to say this, and we can't say there's only 60 guests. 60 signers at Celebration is a huge number. Mm -hmm. um, so some of what goes into it is some of it is Lucasfilm says we have these uh, entities that uh, Clone Wars is coming back and they wanted Clone Wars actors there. Resistance is going into uh, – we'll be having a second season. They wanted Resistance staff. So you, you – we and, and this information comes from the man who's responsible for booking the guests in autograph hall. His name is uh, Mark Abort Owen. So he's – we know that Tops is the licensee for Lucasfilm for providing photos. Mm -hmm. And Mark is the manager of Star Wars Authentics. So this is, this is how he's, he's explained it. Some of it comes from Lucasfilm saying we would like – guests from these fran these uh, projects to be at celebration. And then he's going to fill it with, you know, he's going to send out if there's 60 people that are coming. Uh, who knows how many invitations went out, but a lot more. Than 60, right. Um, and some of those guests are going to say no, which can be disappointing. And, and I see sometimes I, I feel for Mark because people are saying, why don't you have Frank Oz? And why isn't George Lucas here? They're not going to come and sign the city the audience. But, but but on the other hand, they don't think, you know, he probably invited a lot of these people that she really wanted to go and they said no. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. yesterday, to, uh, today, um, yesterday, today, it's it's like you said, it's busy. I'm, I'm, I took stories alone yesterday just on autograph do some celebration. Mm -hmm. It's been a busy time. Ewan McGregor's autograph. Uh, Tops did a signing with Ewan McGregor last week. Uh, yeah. And so... Because, you know, we know that some people he invited said no to coming to Chicago, but agreed to a private signing. Okay. And you were one of those people. Um, so he has the job of saying, okay, since uh, how do I make everybody happy who's love style, who loves Star Wars? Mm -hmm. That's a tall order. There's fans of all levels. There's, you know, there's hardcore collectors that might 
really enjoy that Michael Culver is going to be there because he's never done a U.S. show before. Ah, okay. Just going to say who, you know, this is great because now we have access to somebody we, we've never had. Where other people say, what was he? was an imperial officer. What? Why would I want him? They want Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. Um, I just say no matter where you are on that, if you're the collector that wants Michael Culver or you're, you're happy that Christopher Sean's going to be there from Resistance, whatever, just try to put yourself in another person's shoes. We all love Star Wars. We have that in common. Some of us love different parts of it more than others, and some of us express that love in different ways. So as much as I might want Michael Culver or, or my best, who's you know who's doing his first signing at Celebration, mm-hmm. um, or you know things like that, somebody else might think that's ridiculous. So I might, might be willing to pay more for an autograph because it's important for them to be my collection. Um, and other people might say, "You're crazy! Why would you spend that much for a squiggle?" Hmm. It, this is how I express, and for me, it's right. And how do you express your your passion for Star Wars? It's, that's what when I see when I see people getting, I see that negativity. Sometimes it's because people just go by what they enjoy, right? And they don't. Well, that person enjoys it in a different way. Let them, mm-hmm. you know, that, to to keep an open mind like that. And, and uh, I think that would be that would be helpful. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, and before we were recording, you and I were talking about the stars of Episode Nine: Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, who, as of this time, as far as I know, unless I missed something within the last couple of hours, they haven't even been announced as guests at Celebration in general. The Episode Nine panel is still just Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams and quote-unquote special guests. But even if they do show up, at Celebration and are on that Episode 9 panel, we might not actually see them doing autographs or photo ops as a result. Is that right? You will not see them in autograph hall. Why? Um, well, so a big part of the autograph collecting is to have an image with that actor to sign. Mm-hmm. That in itself would be a spoiler for anybody in Episode 9. We don't know any of the, even with uh, John Boyeg. Well, we have one. We do have a photo from the last day of shooting from with uh, John Boyega and Daisy Ridley and Oscar Isaac. But we don't know. It would give. It would be a spoiler. We would see things from the film that we're not meant to see yet. And official images from Episode Nine and also The Mandalorian mm. won't be out. Triple, triple Force Friday, which I think is either in September or October, and I don't remember. I should. Fourth, um, I believe. Yeah. So, so Tops is actually not allowed to have any of the principal cast of uh, Nine or Mandalorian or anybody who is brand new to Star Wars. That would be this would be their first Star Wars film oh, okay. because signed in in Nine because we don't know even though they've been announced that they'll be in the film. We don't know, are they a rebel? Are they a imperial? Are they a creature? Um, there was, I know there's been some some leaks of costumes and things like that, but for the most of us, we don't know what they look like. So to, for them to sign a picture of their character dressed the way they'll be in the movie is a spoiler. So Lucasfilm said no. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, okay. For me, it's I understand they're not going to be there. I know before any of the guests announced, they're not going to be signing an autograph hall. <laughs> I, I have a website that's just what Star Wars autograph new, <laughs> you know, so I, I, so I, but, so I have to remind myself that the disappointment people feel when they realize that they're not going to be there is, um, for me, it's just common knowledge, but I, I, sometimes I, I don't think I, I attend to that as much and just say, yeah, I, I get why you're disappointed. Um, it's, it's just not reality, not going to happen. Right. So, um, I assume Michael Culver, since you've mentioned him and the fact that he hasn't done a U.S. signing, I imagine he's one of the more exciting uh, people appearing for you. Who else is exciting for you to see at Celebration? And even just generally beyond the the autograph hall, what are you most excited about for Celebration? Um, some of so some of the sign. Erin like Kellyman is exciting because she's. She's new to Star Wars. It's it's and it's Solo was the last film that came out, so it's um, that was a, I thought that was a really good um, addition to the show. That she was a very good addition to the show, and uh, um, uh, I have my collecting is 
almost entirely uh, eight by tens, but also uh, books and comic books. I don't like posters, but I do have two posters that I got at Celebration Six. They were these fantastic posters they gave us in the press room of Clone Wars, and I started collecting. So I have two of them, and I have all. I have so I have a lot of signatures, but nobody, you know, the people that are appearing: D. Bradley Baker, James Adel Taylor, Matt Lanta, Cat Taba. I don't have them, oh. so I'm gonna finish these posters and actually and um on my best and bo uh katie sackoff yes so once i get them on these posters i can put them away and never have to bring these to another show and i'll be very happy <laughs> well that's wonderful congratulations that must be very exciting to be able to finish that off i mean celebration six i don't even know was that 2004 or five no no that would have been so 2012 Oh, 2012. My goodness. Okay. Oh, well, I really had my dates off for that one. <laughs> uh, outside of celebration, the, the best, my favorite part is, it, yes, I love collecting autographs, meeting meeting people. So either people that I've, I know online or just, you know, some random person that I'll just, you know, start talking to. That That's the best part of celebration. Mm-hmm. Um, the With regards to autograph signing, though, there's a lot of signings that happen off the uh, outside of autograph hall. Really, it can be a lot of fun, and that when I'm, you know, that's one of my favorite things at celebrations to get to let people know about signings that they might not otherwise have access to or might not be on their radar. So there's always authors, um, artists. There's there's a lot there's a lot going on, and I'll have some I'll have a couple pieces out by Monday of just a lot of these kind of these signings that, you know, just compiling their, all this information I found and say, here you go. Here's a list of all the signings that have happened at Celebration outside of Autograph Hall. And I love the panels, too. I, I do really enjoy going to the panels. And my favorite was Rogue One in Anaheim. And I was just uh, amazed by it. They showed us the, the little just moving, I think they called it a moving mo- movie poster. And it was, loved it. So, so those, I like those moments um, that you can only get at Celebration, really, so. Right. Very exciting. And so um, for the stuff that you're going to have, um, the show should go live over the weekend, actually. So I think, it'll, you know, it'll be in time for the stuff that you release on Monday. For our listeners, where should they stay in touch with Star Wars Autograph News and with you um, in the run up to and also during and after celebration? Oh, sh- thanks. Uh, StarWarsAutographNews.com is the site. Uh, we have uh, on Facebook, we, if you do Star Wars Autograph News, we have a group and a page. And the group is where we really get to really interact with people, and we really enjoy that. My coverage from shows, anything live, um, is either from Twitter or Instagram, and those are both at SW Autograph. Those are the, and then the podcast you can find on iTunes or whatever, Star Wars Autograph News. We do a show every week. We drop Monday. We uh, record Sunday, and it's out Monday, so. Thanks. I'm looking forward to talking to people and talking. So a few more days until we leave and then the show and talking to people there. And then afterwards, you have to talk about everything that happened. Like, <laughs> it's been two years. It's, you know, we got spoiled because it was for a while. There was, you know, they were happening more often. So yeah. it's a lot now. It's been a while since we've had a celebration to talk about. Yeah, exactly. And I will make sure that links for the websites and social profiles that uh, Frank has mentioned will be in the show notes. So that way you can click on them from wherever you like to catch the show. So Frank Rich, owner and founder of Star Wars Autograph News. Thank you again so much for taking the time out of your preparations for Celebration Chicago to meet with me and talk with me and uh, share your insights into the industry and the community with our audience. And I hope that our paths get to cross at Celebration Chicago too. I'll definitely be keeping my eye out for you. It was a a pleasure talking to you about Star Wars and Celebration and I look forward to seeing you there. May the force be with you. And also with you. Thanks, Alan.
This episode is brought to you by Audible. You can get your free trial at sw7x7.com slash audible, A-U-D-I-B-L-E. I've been checking out the audiobooks for Star Wars on Audible since the reboot of the canon with A New Dawn by John Jackson Miller. And everyone I've listened to, I've enjoyed the heck out of. And now they're coming out with an audiobook exclusive, Jedi Lost. That's going to debut on April 30th. So the only way you're going to get that is by getting the audio version. So you might as well get a free trial for Audible and get your hands on it. You can go to sw7x7.com slash audible, sign up, and when it comes out, you'll be all set. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Frank Rich from Star Wars Autograph News and would love to hear any feedback you care to share. So please drop me a line wherever you happen to catch this episode or at home base sw7x7.com on either of the blog posts that relate to this interview. And as for tomorrow's episode, Monday's episode, well, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing for it, but I'm 100% sure where I'm going to be when I do it, and that is in Chicago, Illinois. Yep, I'm actually going to be in Chicago a few days early, and so I'll be setting up camp, getting the lay of the land, and getting ready for celebration and bringing you the wall-to-wall coverage that I hope you have come to expect and enjoy from me if you've been with me for previous celebrations. And if not, then hey, you know, it's going to be a fun experience either way. So stay tuned with me for that because we are just a few short days away from some major crazy Star Wars stuff. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's show. And thank you so much for joining me for it again and always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.